Welcome back to Community Matters. We've been learning about real estate lifestyle trends amongst baby boomers and millennials. Now we're discussing Parade of Homes with Jim Anderson, a Parade of Homes builder, and Richard Gephardt, a Parade of Homes committee member. Jim and Richard, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Glad to be here. Thanks. Can I call you Dickie? Isn't Absolutely. that what everybody calls you? Absolutely. Well, I don't know if anybody who doesn't know what the Parade of Homes is, but in case there's somebody watching who does, what is the Parade of Homes? So the Parade of Homes is uh, an event that happens here in the Triangle. It's been, it's been going on for over 50 years, and it is an open, basically an open house of all new homes. It is, uh, it is something that the, the builders put a lot of heart into to, uh, sh to showcase the latest trends and people who, you know, with Wake County and the surrounding areas growing so rapidly, there are a lot of people who are moving here who haven't heard of the Parade of Homes and we certainly invite them out to check it out because it is really an exciting time in the Home Building Association uh, as well as in the, the Triangle area and the real estate market. Oh, it is. I mean, yeah. the wife and I never miss it. It's, it's really wonderful. But what attracts people to the Parade of Homes? Well, uh, they get a chance to see 275 homes that are open. Uh, they don't need a realtor. It's a self-guided tour. They can uh, download an app on their phone. The app is free, and they can see as many houses or as few houses as they want, uh, ranging from $200,000 to over $3 million. I always like those. Uh, <laughs> I haven't won a lotto yet, so someday. But uh, now for a builder, if I might ask this, and you're both builders, Correct. Um, and I think you ha have entered this year, and you've yes. entered in past. Absolutely. What's the motivation for a builder to do this? Because you really, it's, it, it's a bit of a competition, isn't it? It is. Okay. Uh, Why? I think that's probably the first thing, is just a, a willingness or desire to compete, uh, bring out your best and bring out the best in others. And I think the second thing is to receive feedback Sort of unfiltered feedback from consumers, from customers. Uh, they get to give you feedback directly on your house uh, without the uh, go-between of the realtor. Now, yeah. you, you mentioned price reigns, um, styles of homes. Uh, I don't know how long you guys have been doing this. You look both look pretty young, but maybe you can maybe you can offer some insight on this. Have, have ch trends changed? You know, over time, are you seeing what used to sell no longer sells, and what's what's hot right now? Certainly, you know, and and I've been building for over 15 years here in the in the Triangle, and and trends have certainly changed. You know, they were segmented houses. Now they're back, or they're at the open floor plan. That is really hot on the market right now. The one thing that we're also seeing, along with this open floor plan, is now people are are tending to want a getaway spot. So it could be finishing off the attic so they can, they still love the open floor plan, but they want a spot where they can just get away and kind of be a little bit more casual. But uh, in terms of the universal design, which is designing as people can age in place, we're seeing uh, preparing second floors for elevators. We're seeing um, uh, trends where doorways are getting wider so that as you age in place or as you have a parent who needs to come stay with you, there's easy access through the house. So there's a lot of, a lot of thought that goes into the design of these homes to, uh, to let people have more options. That's interesting that that would, and, and I wish I had thought of that when I was yeah. coming up. What about the millennials? You know, sometimes they, they get a bad rap, and I don't think they should, but I mean, they have a different way of looking at almost everything. How, how do they view homes? What are they looking for? I think they are, they're less motivated by the square footage of the homes they purchase and more loaded, uh, motivated by the location. Yeah, I, I think, I think uh, what, what we like to refer to as the lock and leave mentality, where they, you know, they want a very nice, high quality home, but they don't want a whole lot of maintenance to go along with it. They're looking at smaller lots, they're looking at being closer to the amenities, closer to grocery stores, public transportation, things of that nature. So, you know, as, 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 as which leads into redevelopment near the downtown areas, such as downtown Durham or downtown Raleigh. They want to be close to these uh, the, the public transportation hubs, so they can uh, so they don't have to count on their cars as much as as you as we may. <laughs> well, and that's true, isn't it? And I know the wife and I we would go and still do to the Prado Homes. 
uh, whether it's dreaming about that home we would like to eventually buy, but you, you walk away with all kinds of different ideas, whether, whether it's because they're all dressed up pretty, aren't they not? Mm, very you much You can walk so. away with design, but also, you know, different architectural looks that you may not have thought of. How are the homes judged, ultimately? Who, who decides who the champion is? Uh, the, well, they're judged the, the, the first day of the parade, which is this year, which is uh, September 31st or 30th, whatever the last day of September is, okay, <laughs> uh, that, which is the Friday before the parade is open. There are judges that are, are um, guests to the area that don't live in the surrounding area, from Virginia, Georgia, uh, South Carolina from surrounding areas they have to be you know some of them are from North Carolina but not necessarily from the triangle area and they're taken around to each one of the houses the houses are set up in categories it's a price range and the, that price range the judges have a list of, of items that they that they judge each house on and then that is is tallied and and the winner of each category is is announced in at the second week of October before the third weekend of, of the parade. Well, it's a lot of fun. Now, for folks who want to go, <clears throat> excuse me, how can people uh, see it when? And I think there's an app as well that September. you can get. I mean, you're 21st century now. Right. That's right. There's yeah. a free app, uh, Triangle Parade of Homes is the, uh, the app. Uh, it's a downloadable uh, in either Microsoft or uh, Google format. And uh, there will also be an insert in the News and Observer on September 30th, I believe, a Saturday. And then uh, beyond that, you can also pick up the catalogs at each of the homes that are on the parade. Yeah, if you haven't done it, this is something you ought to check out. It's a lot of fun. To both you guys, thank you. I thank appreciate you. it. Thank Thanks for watching Community Matters. We hope you've enjoyed the show. And if you'd like to view previous episodes, you can visit our websites at RaleighCW.com and MyRDCTV.com. And we'll see you next week.